What's good, everybody? Back at you again with some more Family Guy. This time we got Family Guy Funny Moments 2020 Edition. You feel me? Coming up, Greek food voted burpiest in the world. But first, in tragedy news, your queen, Helen, has run off with Paris back to Troy. This is an outrage. I'll send my entire army after them, led by my best warriors. Achilles, ACL, get in here. <laughs> Achilles what? ACL Helen has run off with Paris. We're going to get her back and burn Troy to the ground. That sounds good. I just need to cancel my lesson with Socrates first. Isn't he that thinker they keep shuffling around from one philosophy school district to the next? No, no, he's the one whose method is all about asking questions. Like what? Have you ever tried wine? Can you keep a secret? You know this is your fault, right? Yeah, he'll... he'll make you question a lot about yourself. Okay, I had a feeling this fortress would be impenetrable. So I've hired the finest builder in Greece to make us a giant wooden horse. We'll hide inside it. They'll take it in as a gift. And then we spring out and destroy the city. I call it the Trojan Horse. Well, that sounds great, but there's another door right here that's just beads. What? Yeah, just beads. See? Hello, Giant Horse Company, pay on delivery, no deposit required. Can I help you? What? Where the hell is everyone? Well, they left a note. It says Helen and Paris went back to the Greek Isles to get married. <gasps> and all three of Helen's fathers are going to be there? They came. Awesome. And now that we're owned by Disney, we can have Hercules here. No? They, they won't let us use them? Ugh. I'm gonna go break wieners off statues. God. Relax. No one's gonna recognize us. We got inch-wide masks over just our eyes with the rest of our faces plainly visible. We're fine. You wanted to see me, Daddy? Juliet, honey, we need to talk. You're a grown woman now, and it's time for you to get married. Grown woman? Daddy, I'm 13. Shh! Don't say that. Tell people you're 11. You want to get married or not? <sighs> Fine. Ah, cool. <laughs> Shakespeare. Oh, man, I, I must have amnesia or something, because I don't remember inviting you guys. Who are you here with? Abe Froman, the Sausage King of Chicago. You're Abe Froman, the Sausage King of Chicago? That's right. Sausage King. Hello. Yes, I'm looking for Abe Froman, the Sausage King of Chicago. Have you set fellow glasses? Oh, well, he's right here. Let me just... Wait a minute! We don't have phones or Chicago! All right, you gotta die. 100 people surveyed, top five answers on the board. Name something you might say to a damned spot. Out. Good answer. Ah, good, yeah, answer. Yeah, good, good answer. Good answer. Show me out. What? That's impossible. Romeo. Name something you might say to a damn spot. Hello. What? I know this audience. Of course it was hell. Of course it was. Oh, wow. Romeo? Juliet. Shh, 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 shh. That's stupid. You're stupid. Juliet, will you marry me? Okay. Let's do it. I love you, Romeo. Oh, I love you too, Juliet. Mm, 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 mm. I should probably let you know I have a lot of Jack Skellington tattoos. Well, I wish you would have told me that before, but that's okay because I do karate outside against no one. Yeah, this is gonna be a good marriage. <laughs> oh God, I'm voiding my bowels right now because I died. I actually seen this part. In the carriage on the way here. I saw this. <gasps> well, we all know how this goes. I'm doing it. I'll, I'll take the poison. Thank you, Friar. And, and since I'm picking up a prescription, can I uh, pay for the rest of my items here? Uh, I, I, I guess. <sighs> oh, ah, yourself. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. Can you make a paper airplane? I can. Then don't be so hard on yourself. 
What does that have to do with anything? Hey, which line of cocaine is for the bathroom? I think it's that one. Thanks, I'll be right back. Dan Gallagher, confident to meet you. I'm not gonna be ignored by you, Dan. Uh, no, 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 that's later. Now, let's have hot sex in silence, and they'll add the sensuous music in post. Uh, wonder what music they're gonna add. Uh, I'm done. Let's let the new answering machine get it. Hi, you've reached the Gallagher's. Leave a message for our intact family after the beep. Hi, Dan. It's Alex Forrest. I just found out I'm pregnant. Now I'm giving you a minute to pick up the phone hastily. I got it, I got it, I got it. Hello? I see it! God! I told you it's over! And I told you we need to talk. I'm pregnant. Well, are you sure it's yours? I am. We can get rid of it. They won't outlaw abortion until 2019. Oh my god. Oh, I was going to kill the rabbit. I had an affair. You what? I know. It was awesome at the time, and... Frankly, I was real close to getting away with it, but now that there are actual before. consequences, I gotta tell you the truth. If you or a loved one have been prescribed the drug Luxanol and experienced facial bloating, ear leakage, and spontaneous mouth bleeding, you may be entitled to a large cash settlement. Why is there never any programming for me? Look, Tom, Tom, before you do anything crazy, answer me one question. Why is it I have a house and you have an apartment? Yeah, maybe you should jump. We're done! Cleveland, slam the door! Now lock all our city black person locks! Our house is also a liquor store. Lois, know you're here? No clue. I brought beer. I brought pot. Oh, and now I feel stupid. I brought pot. I brought acid. Well, now I feel stupid. I brought crystal meth. I brought ten rounds of chemotherapy. I think we may have gone too far. Now I feel bad for laughing at my dad when he went through this. Coward! I have found you! Oh my god, Stoy, you okay? Quick, somebody call an ambulance! This could need stitches! We don't want this to leave a scar. No, there's no time for an ambulance. We gotta take him to the hospital right away. They Guys, do I'm all right. so dirty. I think Meg... Oh my god, he's delirious. He's talking nonsense. Quick, everybody in the car! Oh my god. Oh my That's god. right, Chris is my new heir. And now to show you my overwhelming love and affection. Okay, that's enough. You're not my wife. Anyway, I want you to have the money. You're the only person who understands this crazy world. Except for maybe Anne way too frank. Dear Diary, when this war is over, I'm gonna get a cucumber and work it into a pickle. And you can take that to the Bank of Berlin. Phew, good thing no one's ever gonna read this. Look at this 1940s tampon. I know. And that's something that's how they used to do it back then. It's just sawdust in a burlap sack. You had to jump on it from a second floor window. We'll take it to Gross Will. Oh, here's me getting my first haircut. Here's me getting my 351st haircut. And here's when I couldn't take no more. I killed that barber. It's weird being here without Grandma. I keep thinking she's gonna walk through that door any minute. Oh, honey, I, I know, but I'm afraid she's dead. This is real life, not some magical fairy tale. And so... Okay, wait, 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 look, 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 look. There's... there's something about death that I didn't tell you before because... Kids aren't supposed to know about it till they get older. Ooh, an adult secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, when someone dies, uh, they they actually do go somewhere. Uh, uh, heaven. Really? What's it like? Well, first of all, you can have any hairstyle you want instantly. You, you don't have to go through that awkward growing it out phase. But do you still get to go to the salon? Of course, you have to get it set. And everyone in heaven only speaks English. None of those mumbly, yelly languages. 
What about clicky, flemmy ones? No, nope, none of those either. And every corner has a fire and ten fire engines putting it out. Do they have a person to ring the bells? No, they need someone to do that. Oh, that's my thing! All right, here I come! Well, hang on, you, you, you can't kill yourself, though, because, because they don't let you in if you do that. So Brody Jenner's not gonna be there? What? He didn't kill himself. He didn't? Oh, no, so he's choosing to live as Brody Jenner? That's so sad. Come on, man. Well, I'm glad everything's back to normal. Peter, your mother's dead. Yeah, but at least she's alive. What are you talking about, Peter? Well, you see, Lois, the key in life is to lie to yourself about reality. Smile through everything. All the bad things, well, you just pile them away in a place that will come back one day in the form of, I don't know, rage? But everything's fine. I'll see you in bed. Chris Griffin, we'll start with your candidate statement. <coughs> Come on, Stewie. Forget it. Ah! Damn it, that's enough! You've treated me horribly! What's our position on extended library hours? The library can suck my dick! <laughs> that was good! What else you got? Listen, Tiffany, you seem really great, and I need to come clean with you about something, because... Well, if I don't, there's two guys who are gonna tell you anyway. I have herpes. Really? Yeah. Well, that's okay. I mean, if we're careful about it, it shouldn't be an issue. And the truth is, I like you so much, I'd do anything to make this work. Oh my god, I'm so happy to hear that. I, I, I feel the same way. Oh, Tiffany, you know, you know, I know this is crazy and, like, super sudden, but... Will you... You're gonna die alone, you dick. Oh, thank god she didn't catch the kid I hired to replace Chris. Thank you for wearing the baseball cap forward. I, I know it's uncomfortable for you, but it, it, it really sold it. Hey, Chris, have you seen my frat? I left one in the hallway about an hour ago, so and I think I left my keys in up. it. Oh, is that it? Ah, yes. And the mystery of the missing keys has been solved. Hi, Stewie. I love your house. Where are your servants? They're in the kitchen being groped by Arnold Schwarzenegger. May I offer you an iced tea? Shut the door! It's all right. I'm probably better off in my old school anyway. Well, I'm just glad everything's back to normal and we can... I know what he was doing, and I don't like it. I figured fancy guys like you only drink in hotels. The hotel threw me out. I used a mustard bottle to write Dallas Portland's a dick on the wall. Ah, oh, yeah, I did that once at a hotel, but it was pee and I didn't write anything. Oh my god, look you guys, it's death! Hey, has anyone got a cell phone I can borrow? God's been paging me for like 20 minutes. Wait, you still use a pager? Yeah, well, we thought once we got Steve Jobs in heaven, we'd all get iPhones, but he never showed up. Wait a minute. You work with God? Oh, Death, we've been looking all over for that guy. Will you take us to him? Sure, but don't you mean her? <laughs> Look at your faces. Of course it's the dude. Come on, let's go. Almost well, as me. I understand it, Daddy's cheer squad had another failed dismount. We know that we are the B.E. S T. Ah! Ah, oh, Brittany, you dumb slut! I said I was gonna cradle out. How did you not hear me? Oh yes! Oh my god! You know, I think I was more like just disturbed more than anything in this entire compilation. Today, I am reacting to Family Guy funny fast food chain jokes. Hey, what's going on in that room? It's a focus group of Arby's executives watching us eat. Oh, no way. He ate People it! People will eat anything! 50 bucks says the fat girl eats a third big beef and cheddar. Who's on it? Okay. I'll take that. You got it. Oh, come on, Don't buddy. do Here it. Here she comes. All right, kid. Take your time. Yeah! yeah. Damn it! I don't even well, like how Arby's. How we're the only animals with poo that's white? I know. What the hell? Right, we're not we're not eating white stuff. Hey, you want something good? Just look for the containers that say KFC on them. There's always something good in there. Dude, that's birds in there. You're e you're eating another bird. What? That's bird meat, dude. Wh what? No. You're eating a bird. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Boy, I feel like I haven't eaten in a week. If we pass a McDaniel's or a Burger Queen, let's hop out. 
Oh, that's right, we're on television. Oh, I'd love a flame broil bopper. So frustrating, we all know what we're talking about. And don't worry, we're not gonna be one of those cutesy couples. Morning, RB. Uh, B? Yeah, it stands for Real Brian. Morning, RB. Robot Brian. Well, much like every other RBs, you are making me sick. At least Meg went wild and got a beige burger. No, I got chicken. What? Here? This is Fuddruckers. What, what part of Fuddruckers don't you understand? All of it. How's everything going over here? Terrible. Go away. See, look, now I have to be even more ridiculous to make up for what you guys aren't doing. Silverware? Put them on. Salt shaker? Whatever. Ice from soda? Get on that burger. Peter, people are staring. Yeah, they're saying, look at the creative guy. Look at King Fuddrucker over there. Usually you put a burger on a tray. This guy's putting a tray on a burger. Are you kidding? God, this is worse than having Ronald McDonald for a father. Bye, Dad. Don't wait up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Lisa. Come back here. You're not going out with all that makeup on. But, Dad... Upstairs, you're a McDonald, not a whore. Wow, Joe, how'd you pull that off? I put in a call from the McDaniels payphone while you guys were getting that nine-piece chicken McFingers and those Diet Conks and those fresh fries. Oh, come on. They don't own French fries. All right, Chris, nothing's gotten that ring out yet. That's why we brought you to this fast food roast beef restaurant. Uh, yeah, I'll take the Angus steak melt. I'm sorry, are you here to poop something out? Yes. Okay, this line is just for regular diners. You need to get in that line. Excuse me, is this the line for people who need to puke something up? I think this is just the poop line. Cheers. You know what restaurant we're talking about. Because we're in the Coast Guard. And when you're here, you're family. That food was all very salty. How'd you get the money to rent this boat anyway? Oh, I got a part-time job at Target. <laughs> oh, I hate Target with a passion. Used to work Technically, there. Technically, I work at the weird in-store pizza hut. The Target in-store pizza hut. Feed it to your fat kid while you buy off-brand tennis shoes. You know, he wrote all those Kentucky Fried Chicken jingles. I don't care for them. Not after what happened to Foghorn Leghorn. I say, I say, son, what, what do we got brewing in here? I was walking by when I picked up the smell of 11 herbs and spices. <laughs> Look at that boy, running all around like a chicken with his head. Wait a minute. I'm totally screwed. Like those poor guys who had to come up with a new ad campaign for Subway. Hey, I'm Mike. I like sandwiches and people my own age. Subway, please don't think of pedophilia. Ding, fries it done, ding, fries it done, ding, fries it done. I work at Burger King, making flame broil whoppers. I wear paper hats. Would you like an apple pie with that? Would you like an apple pie with that? I gotta run, I gotta run. Don't touch the fries in hot fat, it really hurts bad, and so do skin grafts. Would you like an apple pie with that? Would you like an apple pie with that? Wait for the bell, ding, fries it done, ding, fries it done. Ooh. <laughs> this was a really good compilation. Um, God, I don't. I hope. I really hope nobody eats at Arby's. I mean, I would say, nah. Actually, no. I don't even like Arby's. I don't like Arby's. I don't think I've e ever eaten at Arby's before. But I think I went there maybe like once because I was like nothing else was open. So I went there and I was just like, what do I even get? Nothing looks appetizing on the menu. Well, hello, you amazing people in the other half who only watch Family Guy videos. We are back with some more. This time we have Cutaway Compilation Season 16, Part 2. Let's go ahead and get into it. Where'd you get these? Craigslist. Boy, that's got to be some long list. And pool tables and jukeboxes. Uh -huh. Craig, are you getting all this down? Yes. Is that it? No! Futons, everyone's grandfather's golf clubs. Is, is that it? No, gay sex. What kind? All of it. Huh? All right, fine, but you have to be careful. Don't worry, he won't have any idea. I'll be more discreet than a guy standing by himself in the ocean. Hey, are you peeing? No. Are you pooping? Uh, I'm just trying to enjoy the day. Why don't you go bother that guy? Summer's blown by, huh? 
I remember this. Real good to be a veteran. Remember that Even one. Even better than buying a bottle of Newman's own. This makes me a good person. Hey, someone just bought a bottle of bland salad dressing. Now we can use all proceeds to do jihad stuff. <laughs> Jesus Christ. In fact, we're so successful now, we have to make one of those sappy investment commercials. Thanks to my investments, I've watched my money grow. And my little girl. Dad, thanks for making my big day possible. Don't thank me. Thank Fidelity. Okay, I'm ready to marry you now. Wait, what? No, I'm your dad. Yes, you are. This is what's happening. Fidelity, we're there for you when your baby marries his dog dad. Interesting commercial. Me, David Ortiz look just like the mom on Good Times. Ah, oh, Peter, that's racist. No, no, look. I take it back. That's not racist. That's just accurate. We now return to Vetter Call well, Saul. Okay, great. Hey, Saul, got into a little trouble, and I'm gonna need a lawyer. Yeah. Okay, so tell me exactly what happened. I was driving, had a bit to drink, and then I ran into a milk truck. Yeah. Were you on drugs? Ian Blue. I'm getting you a nanny. Well, I guess it would be good to have some help with Megan Chris. Where's his pants? Joey, if he's ever found. Um. Honey, do you think that's the goat and baby from the Amber Alert? Uh, the Tercel, but I don't think it's the right year. I mean, it's a goat and a but baby. How? You died from a fire started by your milf on a shelf. Want to see some pictures of my teenagers? No, Karen. Look, I haven't watered my Christmas tree for a few weeks now, so could you watch your really long cigarette, please? Did I tell you I went to the mall with my daughter and an employee thought we were sisters? Yes, many times. We'll be right back after these turn-of-the-century messages. <sighs> Another dull night at the Gentleman's Club. What we need is some room-temperature gin. Hello, gents. Fancy some room-temperature gin? Shut up, you slag. No women allowed. Room temperature gin. Drink it without women, have an eel pie, then go to bed. Never had gin. Toshi, no Nike no Chochiwa. Masaka. 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 What's going on with Nike? Narimoe wa nakate yo. you guys I was talking you know there's more to life than just what's on your phone wrong idiot anyone know how to turn these things off come on bro we're going to trade it for mort and collect our money and I also ordered an extra slice of pie because you know how many times we live Brian once once <laughs> Watson this is a boat to America. That's pretty, that. that's pretty Your decent. Diamond is on board. Look. September morn. We danced until the night became a brand new day. I really hoped he'd be singing America. For every dollar I make, one goes to me and one goes to charity. I'm going to rent a Ferrari and cruise the pier. You want in? Well, cancer's not going anywhere. I'm sorry, Billy. You're one dollar short of being able to afford the surgery you need. Come. Sweet. I know those guys. Because I can't do this <laughs> That's anymore. That's so fucked Life up. Over. I tried to adjust, but it's impossible. Come on, Quagmire is not impossible. You want impossible? Try eating local pizza with a guy from New York. You call this pizza? We do here, yes. Uh, every time. I haven't heard a guy's booming fart the whole time I've been in here. I feel more relaxed than a chick on Facebook with her legs in front of a pool. More like Instagram. We now return to Captain America, Civil Union. All right, Captain America, we have to get ready for the big fight with the other heroes. Who do we have on our side? Well, Hawkeye, we've got you, Scarlet Witch, the Falcon, and, of course, Randy. Who's Randy? You know Randy, lives in my guest house. We've been friends since college. He's my pal. He's the guy I went to Paris with. You are such a coward. Randy! <laughs> Randy. Oh, man. Um, pretty decent. Didn't laugh. 
So that's a dub, of course, but the cutaway with the cats was actually, you know, kind of decent. It was, it was okay. It wasn't like, you know, hilarious, but it was like, oh, that's a good one. Uh, but most of these, you know, I surprisingly hadn't seen. Uh, maybe like one or two I did watch or I have seen before, but other than that, it was okay, but not enough. Not nearly enough. I've been through so much Family Guy. You know this, people. Got Family Guy Cutaway Compilation Season 8 Part 2. That whore! She's betrayed me worse than Lady Macbeth betrayed Duncan! <laughs> I, uh, I don't know Shakespeare very well. Here, Peter, that'll be $50. 50 bucks? All right, fine, I'll buy it. Man, this is a bigger ripoff than Shrunky Dinks. They already been shrunk. Happy birthmas. Would you like to see it for yourself, Brian? Yeah, I would. Good, because it's gonna blow your mind like the Stereopticon did to Americans in 1910. Hey, I'm in New York City! No, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. What's going on here? First of all, that's not true. And second of all, she's not like that. She's wonderful, she's smart, she's pretty. And, you know, the only reason I haven't brought her around is that you guys don't always make the best impression with girls I date, especially Peter. Hey, aren't you that chick from the bathroom door? Come on, Peter, she doesn't want to talk about work. What's it like in there? I assume it's like how it is in the men's room. Oh, there's a long trough with a big poo in it? I, I don't get it. Why, why wouldn't Quagmire like me? Because he thinks you're annoying, like people who never shut up about their kids. He... he would have been four today. I, I still don't understand. How do you drown in an inch of water? <laughs> well, I guess I don't have a new sweater and a haircut. Boy, I liked her better when she was more predictable. Like the stock photos on a corporate website. I'm a woman in a lab coat, wearing goggles, staring intently at a beaker that I'm holding near my face. I'm a Latino in a hard hat, but I'm also wearing a tie so you know I'm a supervisor. We're college students listening to our professor, but the class is taking place... outside? This is disgusting. I shouldn't be here. A baby doesn't belong in the inner city any more than a baby belongs on a plane. Shh. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Our in-flight movie this evening is Hancock. Where? 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 That's a good movie. I want to show you one of the most special times of your life and mine. Our honeymoon. I think you've had enough, Peter. Ah, you don't know. You get away! I I know my body better than you. Boy, you're tougher than a doggy dominatrix. Do it! Do it! Come on, do it! Do it! Do it! Ah! Oh, yes! Yes! Ah! Oh, you bitch! Ah! Oh! Whoa! This is trippy. I should say so. We're in the robot chicken universe. Will you guys move? You're blocking a TV. Look! G.I. Joe Transformers Thundercats He-Man! Yay! Those shows existed! How's it feel to be on a major network for 30 seconds? F*** you! Bye! I voted before. I stuffed the ballot box at the Oscars. And the nominees for Best Actor in a Leading Role are... Grover, Bluto from Popeye, A Red Guy, A Boob, and Daniel Day-Lewis. And the Oscar goes to... A red guy! What the hell are you doing with a musket? Last day on Earth? I've always wanted to save a Native American family from rapacious cavalrymen. <laughs> yeah, this one will do nicely. Let her go. You don't have to be afraid of him anymore. You like meatloaf? Uh, yeah, sure. All right, see you at eight. Oh, man, I can't believe I'm gonna have dinner with two of the three amigos. This is gonna be way better than when we had that Victorian girl so ghost over for dinner. <laughs> My governess drowned me in a well. <laughs> you are a horrible dinner guest. I don't care, jury duty sounds boring. I'm gonna get myself kicked out. 
Just like I got kicked out of Coldplay. Guys, guys, I got an idea. How about we do a song that's not whiny bullcrap? It says that in this universe, Frank Sinatra was never born, and therefore he was unable to use his influence to get Kennedy elected. So Nixon won the 1960 election and totally botched the Cuban Missile Crisis, causing World War III. Wow, so I guess Lee Harvey Oswald never shot Kennedy? No, nope, he shot Mayor McCheese. That joke's not in bad taste, right? Oh, who cares? He's a cheeseburger. And there's the Vietnam War Memorial. Hey, check out that Vietnamese guy giving the business to those Vietnam vets. Scoreboard! Scoreboard! Oh, what happened to your friend? Hey, I know that guy. I kill him. He cried like a bitch. Vietnam undefeated! <laughs> This one, this particular cutaway compilation was savage as fuck, man. Oh my god. I almost broke it that one where he was like, he had the musket. Oh my god, that shit was, it was so fucked up. Come on guys, enough is enough. Let's get serious on this one, man. No more games. No more games. I ain't playing. I'm dead ass serious on this one, man. For real. Oh, thank you, Jazzercise. Don't worry, Joe. They're coming for you. Yay, my backpack. Hang in there, Joe. After they get that lady's hat, you're next. Thank you. It's windy up here. My teeth. God damn. Oh. Oh, man, I'm real sorry about your mouth, Brian. Damn it, Peter, what were you thinking? This has to be the stupidest thing you've ever done. No, Brian, the stupidest thing I ever did was turn the bubbles off in a hot tub. Dear Lord. I feel sick. Keep drinking. I prepaid 40 bucks. Homer, maybe we're doing this wrong. Oh, crap. And I find in favor of death. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Hello? Uh, hey, I'm, I'm in the wrong Springfield. Well, Brian, if, if you're happy this way... Hells to the yeah, I am. Hey, um, I was told there would be a lollipop at the end of this. Good. He doesn't know about the stickers. I'll take two. Right, you're not thinking clearly, all right? You've got to agree to this surgery. Because right now, you're as useless as Black Widow is to the Avengers. I've had enough of this Justin nonsense. Tomorrow, we're going to City Hall to legally change your name back to Peter. All right, fine. But I gotta say, being Justin was quite an adventure. Like when I found where the wild things were. Just work at a brewery. Oh, my God, you get to work with beer? Whoa, what's beer really like? Eh, he's got a big head. <laughs> hey, you know, ah, oh, damn it, I don't have a comic strip anymore. So, still no word from the police on your stolen car? <laughs> the cops here are a joke. Oh, cool, that brick I ordered. Wait a minute, I didn't order this brick. You may be right, Chris. Peter, this is getting out of hand. I don't feel safe in my own home. Maybe we should get out of Cohog for a while. You know, she's right. We should get out of town till this all blows over. Okay, we'll go, but just give me a minute. I just want to turn in my last for Pete's sake. Yeah. Hey, uh, if you think that's funny, she once had a miscarriage outside of Petco. I still have the security camera footage somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Peter, I'm your conscience, Jiminy Cricket. Ah, bug! Next time there's a sandwich in the fridge with somebody's name on it, don't eat it, scumbag. Please, you don't understand. Oh, I understand. I've seen this one. That lunch didn't have your name on it, but this bullet does. My name is Peter, too! Intense. Okay, Landon, time to sabotage you with the most dangerous thing in the world for a toddler. A whole uncut grape. God, look how fat kids are getting. Oh, Landon, no. Uh-uh, you could choke on that. Yeah, but I thought they'd stick to material about how I'm too handsome to work at a brewery, or, or, or how I have tiny little baby sneezes. That's you! I'm sure it was all meant in good fun. Yeah, it was supposed to be fun, but it was humiliating. I felt like a premature volcano. 
Come on, keep pedaling. Dinner starts in an hour. Damn it, Peter! Oh, great. You broke the chain, and now we have to walk. Unless we hitchhike. Hitchhike? All we do. You ever get in the pocket of a wave? Peter, you know I haven't. And I know for a fact that you haven't either. In the pocket. Some gnarlies out there. Some nanas. Was in one today. It's like the rest of the world just shuts off, and all that matters is you and Lady Blue. And you know what she said to me? You're great. Like that. You got the gist of what my Twitter is about. Peter, I was at an outdoor mall today, and there was a kiosk selling little remote control cars. One of them drove right up to me. <laughs> it was very funny and enjoyable. So what I need you to do is to go to a local gym. Did your mommy forget to slice your grapes for you? Cutting the jokes. Hey, let me help. Oh, there's nothing to cut these with. Oh, that's it, Landon. If you're gonna seduce my mother, then I shall seduce yours. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Elderly potheads. Why did it have to be elderly potheads? Is everyone warm in here? Is it warm? Brian, are you feeling all right? Yeah, I'm fine. It just seems kind of... Oh, my God! Oh, uh, Lois, your dog threw up. Oh, Gene Shalit. I am the ghost of Roger Ebert. Ah! And even in death, I'm a better critic than you. Leave me alone! Go back to hell! <sighs> Jean, is everything all right? It's fine, Joanne. Go back to sleep. <sighs> is this about money? Because I have a bit saved. We could even use my old crib. You use your old crib. Oh, right. Stewie, you have to get rid of it. Get rid of it? You know, why don't you just say it? Say the word, Brian. I want to hear you say it. Abortion! Abortion! You need to get a big, fat abortion right this second! You can't even say it. I think I'm gonna throw up. Oh, we don't want to sound too old. They're gonna think we're a bunch of old, bald geezers. Big hairy dicks for kids. How are we gonna let them know we're veiny? So you say this gumball machine took your dime and didn't give you a gumball? That's right. Well, I'll take care of that. <laughs> I wonder if Cleveland's gonna want his sax back. Hey, did you see those pictures of me doing duck lips by a pool? I don't know, some island. Shh. You rebel scum. <laughs> yeah, you're too young, you don't know. I've seen this fight a couple times. I owe you, Max. You led me right to him. All right, now help me grind their horns into boner pills. Wow. Whoa, wait, wait, you're in no condition to drive. Kind of I'm was fine to late, drive. I'm there so it is. fine. You, I can do all the tests. See, I can touch my nose. I can touch my head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Stop it. Now you stop it. You stop it, Brian. You're interfering with my professional. How can Cleveland say I'm the problem? All I do is sit in the bathroom and play on my phone. Swipe, wipe, swipe, wipe, swipe, swipe. Uh-oh. That's a perfect example. You put no effort into this marriage. Cleveland helped me see that our entire relationship has... There you go. You, you look very dapper, sir. Thanks, Brian. God, I love the new you. That obedience school really schooled you in obedience. <gasps> That's why it's called that. Permission to take fast, tiny bites of my own tail, sir? Granted. Oh, Peter, I was so worried about you. Lois, when we got captured, I said, you rebel scum, and Kimmy didn't get it. Oh, that's funny. From the Star Wars. Well, just Star Wars, but I missed you, sweetheart. Oh, you're gonna have to drive a little faster. I'm already going over the speed limit. Oh, too late. Pull over. It's starting to come out. Of where? I'm not sure exactly. Brian, I'm going to need you to deliver the baby. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Can, can you wait a second while I put a towel down? I, I don't want anything to get on the... Oh, the shadow. No. Get away from the window. Small tree. You should in chill knock. Okay, maybe 
Dollar Holla Walla Balla Dollar Macarena, Waka Laka Chaka Haka Baka Macarena. Daddy, I don't think the Macarena is the best father-daughter dance. Well, how about another song from the 90s? Casey would waltz with a strawberry blonde and the band played on... What, wrong 90s? <laughs> <laughs> Let <laughs> me suck the hair dryer. I, I, I enjoyed it. God damn. I did, but I, I, I don't want to do that specific thing again. Well, that's too bad, because I'm ready for round two. Just got to make sure the kids don't come in. Damn. <laughs> now no one can get in, and no one can get out. Hands on the headboard, Chief. Yes, ma'am. R.I.P., Peter. Mm, so delicious, Stewie. Best pie ever. Oh my goodness, wow. no. Tastes great. Cut Stewie. away. Mmm, so good. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Mm, so good. Uh oh. All right, boys, get me up to speed. Anywho. I think I did chuckle a little bit, so I will admit that I probably did lose this challenge, but I will say that this compilation was kind of like, had some bad edits here and there, but overall it was kind of a decent compilation. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so since this is a very short compilation for Family Guy, I will be keeping the same face throughout the whole video. I'm not smirking, not laughing, and most importantly, I'm not smiling. Back up. Right there. That's good. Let's get into it and watch me win. Ah, the ladies' room at Wimbledon. This must be the fanciest bathroom in the world. Uh-oh, looks like these are in use. <laughs> Oh my god, maybe he did do it. You know, there are some bad people in this world. Hey, you don't gotta tell me that. I learned that in Fight Club. All right, Stewie, what's the first rule of Fight Club? G-string underwear. No, it's don't talk about Fight Club. Oh, well, I really blew it. Yeah, you did. Peter, we have dinner with my parents that night. It's my mom's birthday. You have to be there. Lois, if you let me out of this, I will go to Meg's ballet recital in your place. Deal. I did not go to the recital. Well, maybe we were in over our heads. Like an announcer. I mean... <laughs> wow. I'm so disappointed in myself, man. I have failed you. Uh, that joke really... Wow. <laughs> you know what's dumb is when she was doing her routine, I thought that was funny. So before they even zoomed out of the whole theater, I was already sort of kind of laughing. I don't know why. <sighs> don't look at me like that. LA recital in your place. Deal. I did not go to the recital. Well, maybe we were in maybe over our heads. Else. Like an announcer who knows nothing about his sport. He's got about 190 yards to the hole. Looks like he's going for his five iron. And those greens are playing very fast, so he's going to have to use caution on his approach. Yeah, yeah. Jordan Spieth, of course, having a great tournament. He birdied this hole yesterday. Is that right? Wow. And he hits a great shot right on the green. Yeah, yeah. How, uh, how do you win golf? Lois, I've seen enough. You're completely overwhelmed and you have four children. <laughs> 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 four children. Hey! They belong to a woman. How can you tell? It's hard to explain, Watson. Women are mysterious. But don't ask me. Ask contemporary personality Oscar Wilde. 
I prefer a man with a future and a woman with a past. Oh, splendid. Well said. Splendid. All right, let's get out of here before we're all arrested for the crime of bum fancy. Also, my band is playing tonight at an inconvenient time. It's six unshowered guys and a pale woman with a ukulele shouting hey in unison. Because that's what music is now. Hey! Hey! What is this? They just keep saying hey. I know, it's my favorite song. Eh, I get where he's coming from. That's why I never introduce you to my friends. What friends? Like the guys in my photography club. Dear Gary Glitter, Jeffrey Jones, and Jared from Subway. I feel like I'm the only one sending pics. I love all the positive feedback, but maybe you guys send a pic? Anyway, here's more pics. Yeah, I decided Terrible. we're going someplace nice this time. Not like Terrible. last year when we went to the Outback Steakhouse. But it's out, as in the gay way. We'll get to the specials, but first, I need to tell you, I'm gay. The hell you are! No waiter of mine is gonna be gay! Peter, please! He's our waiter! He's the only waiter we have! Lois, our waiter is dead to us. We have to focus all our attention on our hostess now. He, he just needs a little time. Scott, I'm finally ready to hear the specials. Maybe you should put that off for a little while. You know, sow a few more wild oats. Oh, I've done enough of that, my friend. Especially after that raucous bachelor party trip you threw for me in Las Vegas. So, when do the strippers arrive? 1952. You know, just when I thought he couldn't get any cooler, he goes, Holy sh Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, what? What? Just, there's almost nothing left of him! I've seen and this one. And I just one. know I'm gonna be the one to have to identify the body. I've seen this one, I think. Yep. That's him. Poor guy. He looks like a bowl of tomato soup. Guy next to him died in a fire. He looks like a grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, these two poor souls are the best combination for a rainy Saturday. Delicious. We'll just have to roll up our sleeves and do the best we can, like the men who built New York City. Men, creating an entire subway system out of nothing is grueling, thankless, life-threatening work. But just remember, we're doing this so that one day, future commuters can be hassled by panhandlers and amateur breakdancers. What about public masturbators? Especially public masturbators. Now let's go die underground. Yeah! Great. You won't regret this. When it comes to selling drugs, you and me will be a better team than the old lady's eyeballs on Downton Abbey. I'm looking way over in this direction. And I'm looking way over here. That way, we can see all the awards flying at us. Here comes one now. Best cutaway. Really? Stupid Hallmark holiday, anyway. Oh, hey, Bri. How's your night going? I hope Rupert and I haven't been too loud up there. Happy Valentine's Day! Oh, yeah. We're gonna go all night. What do you say, Peter? Yeah, it could be fun. And we haven't been on a date since I broke the Guinness record for longest nasal exhale at that Tina Fey movie. You're the baby mama? Well, that's no bueno. That's so nasty. Imagine if someone can actually do that. You know what, Brian? Forget it. We are done. You ruined this. We were a good team, like Ricky and the Flash. I love you, Ricky. I love you, The Flash. Stewie, I don't think that's right. Ah, I didn't see the movie. Yeah, no, I didn't see it either, but yeah, The, the Flash was the name of her rock band. Ah, oh, you saw it. Yeah, I saw it. So did I. I'm mad at myself, because this was an easy win. I gotta get back on track, people. I, I can't be losing this much. I've been taking way too many L's out here with these challenges, man. I just think that that one that broke me, though, it was... I gotta give it to it. It was funny. It Peter didn't go, and neither did anyone else go to her performance. <laughs> and when they zoomed out, that's when it was hilarious for me, because I was just like, damn, no one... <laughs> no one came to see Meg dance. That was funny. What's good, everybody? So... I am back at you with another try not to laugh challenge. 
and this one is Family Guy Best Twisted Dark Humor Compilation. Top salad, please, and can I get no onions on that? Hmm, I've got a few connections in the back. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, that's funny. If there's one onion this. on that salad, you can forget the dollar eighty. This particular tip you scene, I've seen it. Well, then you're all a bunch of frauds, aren't you? A bunch of frauds and charlatans. You want to be a puppet? Then sing for your life, puppet. Come on, spread your tiny wings and fly away. Come on, and sing along. You know it. You didn't write it, but you know it, bitch. The one I love forever. Is... Ugh, everybody's always commenting on my weight. This is why I almost died from anorexia. You look fat. So tell me, is there any tread left on the tires at all? Or at this point, would it be like throwing a hot dog down a hallway? Ugh, this is miserable. Three hour delay and a completely full flight. Don't look at us, you pig. Take your juicy sweatpants and your dirty pillow from home and your bucket of coke and get the hell out of my sight. What was her problem? I can't believe this is happening to me. I can never go back to school again. Oh, yes, Meg, yes, yes, yes. Everything was going swimmingly for you until this. Yes, yes, this is the thing that will ruin your reputation. Not your years of grotesque appearance or awkward social graces or that Felix Ungerish way you clear your sinuses. No, 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 it's this. Do you hear yourself talk? I might kill you tonight. You proud of yourself? Tennis club, security guard, your kids oh, look yeah. up to you? Big man throwing out a baby and a dog, tough guy. Maybe I'll see you later when you don't have that name tag on. I thought your shot was in. Oh, hey, pound it, dude. Well, how far along are you? Eight months. You look amazing. Let me ask you, are you leaking? Because I've been leaking. How old are you? Well, how old are you? You look like you're 40, which means whatever you've got in there is 100% brain damaged. All right, you have a good day. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Cobain? Look, I know you're depressed. Made some bad choices with women. But there's another way. haagen -Dazs. Lots of haagen -Dazs. Yeah, let's see if it worked. Here we go. Ha! You're still alive, you fat. Huh? Well, it's gonna take a while to rebuild the machine and so longer to recalibrate it for normal time. But I've taken on bigger challenges before. I had to explain to America why Heidi Klum broke up with Seal. Face. Go oh, ahead. You know, maybe it's appropriate that you're my ride up. Rupert always called you my bitch. Want to know some of the other things he called you? Fat Lassie. Scooby Don't. Rin Tin Twink. Poopy Snoopy, Mama Dookie, Clifford the Big Red Sphincter that we see all the time because you don't put your tail down, Snoop Doggy Dick. Oh, that's okay. Hey, uh, listen, I was skeptical about traveling to Mexico. Snoop I took Doggy one Dick. step outside the resort. From now on, if you want to tweet something, you do it the old-fashioned way. Write it on a piece of paper, staple it to a bird, and throw it out the door. You're right. This sucks. It's even worse than when I was roommates with Oscar Pistorius. Somebody's in here. Somebody's in here. Find a way to channel your anger. What I do is throw a shot put into a crowd and make it look like an accident. I forgot to make it look like an accident. I haven't felt this bad since I drove by that speed sign. Crazy strong, like Superman on a date. Yeah, I wasn't here, but I heard her oh. scream, so I came flying in and found her like this. It's weird. Same cause of death as those three guys in that local public bathroom. Unsolvable. Well, he was living among wild animals for two months, and you know how impressionable your dad can be. Hmm. I mean, I'm not a forest guy. I'm, I'm more of a take it all in at the beach guy. <sighs> Excuse me, sir. This is private property. What are you doing? <sighs> Just taking it all in. You're staring at my daughter's bedroom. She's really grown into her body. This is gonna be a fun summer for her. And although I will never get over the pain of what you've I done to my son, I forgive you. 
because I believe you are sick and in need of help. Mr. Griffin, this is the Office of City Planning. You requested a variance to build a hot tub off your garage? Oh, yeah. Did I get it? No. I will kill your son! Your son is dead! We now return to Stabbed in the Butt, the only game show where if you get the answer wrong, you get stabbed in the butt. All right, Bradley, here's your question. What is the atomic weight of nitrogen? Get him, guys! Stab him in the butt! <laughs> Boy, Carol's <laughs> like a sister like Lois. You're telling me. I always wanted a brother or sister, but instead I got a broaster. Hey, Peter, you want to see my vaginas? Uh, 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 I, I don't know. If we didn't find God in Jerusalem. Well, we'll have to keep looking. Oh, here's our bus to the airport. <laughs> oh, wow, that was super loud. I called like four times, but she's not out of the coma yet. Apparently, they oh, usually use fake no. chairs, but Meg used a real one. Do they think she's gonna survive? It could go either way. <sighs> Hello? No, I think I'm a different blood type. <laughs> no, I don't want to check. Doctor says that there's nothing they can do. so funny. You're, You're not, not what you look, look like, like in your picture. picture. Let's, Let's get, get this, this over with. with. God. I wonder which one of us is the murderer. I am gonna make this family proud, and not Come just on, you guys. Stop in the butt. Stop in the butt. My ancestor <laughs> in the attic. I did it. I'm gonna be on TV. Did you kill the others? I shan't. You must. I'm gonna go talk to the statue in the basement. Did you kill the painting? This place is a nut house. Tita, I'm glad you're up. I need to talk to you about something. Oh I know God. what you did last night. You do? How could over. you do something over. so heinous? Last night, you left your dirty dishes in the sink. It's disgusting. So I did half, and I left the other half for you. Oh, forget it. You'll just do it wrong. I'll wash it myself. Why don't you just go in the other room and relax? I'll call you when breakfast is ready. Okay. Oh, no. What if it's bones? No, no. Bones are too big. But baby bones aren't. No, no, no. Nobody would kill a bunch of babies for maracas. How would you kill all those babies anyway? I'd probably put them in a tub. You could kill like eight at a time that way. Plus, it softens them up so you can get the bones right out. Joe just had a baby. And I got a baby at home. I got a tub. Peter, you seem off today. Are you thinking about killing infants again? No. Now you gotta kill them, too. It's gonna be fine. They'll fit in great there. Not like when I went to Hogwarts. Slithering. Okay, I've saw this in another compilation. Hufflepuff. Housing for registered sex offenders. Ah. Just the way he says it is hilarious. Wow, it looks like Michael Jackson's coming right at me. Wow, so Peter, so you're really replacing Pawtucket Pat as a new mascot? Yep, I'm the <sighs> new Pawtucket Pat. Hey, now you and Jared from Subway have two things in common. No, no, that's not true, Meg. It's not true. Peter, Peter, she's garbage. She's garbage. Let it go. You're the king. Yeah, garbage. Yeah. They teach you at school. I don't know, Mom. I have a pretty realistic home ec class. Okay, kids, now I'm going to take the casserole out of the oven. Okay, it's a little burned. No reason to panic. Oh, God, that's Daddy. He's home early. L let's get some spices in here and fix this. Okay, he's inside the house. Let's let's hope his meeting went well. God, that meeting went awful. Oh boy. What's that smell? Did you burn dinner, you stupid pig? Okay, kids, put your heads down. Put your heads down and don't try to stand between me and your father. It'll just make it worse. Oh, well, Mary, have you seen it's Nicholas? Horrible. He's up in his room sulking, Dad. Yeah, he's still upset because Abby threw out his baseball cards. Oh, well, maybe I should make him a sandwich. <laughs> oh, Dad, that's your solution to everything. <laughs> is enough <laughs> <laughs> you know I love you girls hmm it's still there usually the dude is disappeared by now but it hasn't it's just sitting there like Joseph on his wedding night happiest night of my life honey really memorable almost done in there God shut up Oh, 
you go all the way? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna need some proof. Hmm. How can I prove it? Maybe with Father O'Leary's briefs. Oh! The king! He said he loved me. <laughs> Dagmeyer, sorry to bother you, but we're following up on a tip. Oh, yeah. Did you have sex with this underage girl? I don't want to go to jail, but I really want to take credit. Quagmire, I'm afraid you're under arrest for statutory rape. <sighs> all right, but let me just send the pictures I took of her last night to all my friends. Uh... Oh, yeah! Boom! You're disgusting. I was sitting in the RC section of the cafeteria when Tracy Bellings approached. Why aren't you drinking Coke, you dork? Pepsi would also be acceptable. It doesn't have to be a two cola system. RC is what keeps a lot the of these I've seen already, toes. but there's you know a couple in here that I haven't seen for, already. Don't you? Chicks rule. She was dyslexic. Anyway, that was the beginning of a long, abusive relationship. It's one she thing like, if you put your penis inside out in the safety of your own bedroom, but to have it done in the cafeteria? To this day, I can't have sex with a woman against her will without thinking about rape. I got out of the car to take a leak because I've been drinking and I didn't know it was next to a children's park. But anyway, that's why this lady has to watch whenever I play with you. Both hands on the book, please. It's my son. Come on. Jeez. Thank you, Maya. All right, Stewie, I'm going to change your diaper now, which unfortunately means I have to touch your privates. All right, so here I come with the cloth. Okay, this is not sexual. All right, I've made contact with your undercarriage. I am moving it upwards with a cupped hand. I'm looking you in the eye now. Please meet my gaze. And we're done. That was intense. Why are your nipples poking into me? <laughs> Sorry, it happens when I'm cold. Why are there three of them? There aren't. Two of them are mold. Those numbers still don't add up. <laughs> are you a straight adult male who likes to eat mm. crepes without people making unwanted oh, assumptions man. about your private life? Go to discreetcrepe.com, place your order, and within 30 minutes... <laughs> Very masculine pizza delivery for Stewie Griffin. <sighs> oh, thank you. Mmm, strawberry banana Nutella with raspberry drizzle. Now I just need a guy's butt to eat this off of, and I got myself a knife. Yo, that was probably, like, the best... One of, one of the best compilations I've seen in a very long time. What's up everybody? We got some more American Dad, all right? This one is called American Dad Funniest Moments and I don't think I've seen this one on YouTube, so I'm gonna go ahead and react to it, you feel me? I'm and Brian drive sick convertibles and shoot awesome guns at these crazy Japanese dudes. Brian takes a hard left, sending him flying up a ramp. In slow-mo, Dom looks up as Brian's upside-down car sails over his own. It's super sick. Brian looks back down at Dom, their heads inches from each other. They crane their necks to steal an upside-down kiss, and Dom's tongue explores Brian's mouth. What the fuck? And it's your fault the bodies are going to be ripped apart by yaks. Do you want to know the names of the yaks? Yakusto, Yaki O, Yaki Chan, and Yaki Yak. Don't talk yak. You like the names I came up with for my yaks? Oh, God, they're the best yak names I've ever heard. You maniac. Maniac. That's a good name for a yak. We must buy another yak. To the yak dealership. <gasps> oh, the new yak is here. I probably need a sign for him. So this is where I work. Smile, you son of a bitch. You're smiling, you son of a bitch. Zucchini, appropriately phallic, inducing slight feelings of inadequacy. The day OK is good enough for this garden club is the day I resign as its president. We're co-presidents, Steve. Then start acting like it! Wow, how'd you afford such a nice bike? How does a paper boy afford anything on the craft they pay? You bend the rules. You get extra papers and sell them on the side. Vacation hold. You get one of these, toss it, keep the papers, side sell them. You see a vacant, sign it up for a trial membership. More papers. Mama more papers, mama more money. Mama more money, mama more speech therapy. So I suppose you can account for your whereabouts earlier tonight. I was being intimate with Daniel. It's true. I put that ass to sleep. Ah. Oh God, oh God, it hurts, oh God! Relax. 
Because all the pain immediately stops on the other side. What are you doing? You're coming with me! No, I'm not. Let go! Haley! Let go, Haley! Yep, this is a deep pain. A very, very deep pain. What's happening? These balloons represent my nads. My head represents Snot's mom's head. Here it comes. Wait for it. <laughs> that was quite a ride, Wheels, but I think I got us there. Hey, I see Haley! Don't marry Jeff! <sighs> Case closed. My wrist! You don't know that. You're not a doctor. I'm taking this. What are you gonna do about it? I, I... I don't know. Stand up for yourself. Fight me! Well, I'm gonna mount this and ride it hard. Like I did your mom last night. I've purchased an RV and I love it. It's like driving a terrible little house. It's glamping, not camping. Oh, glamping, huh, Smith? You refuse to use that word for six years, then suddenly your son shows up, and it's like you thought of it. This is Rihanna. This is Katy Perry. This is Selena Gomez. All right, that completes today's hotties. You really do cut quite a figure as a woman, Smith. You look exactly as I imagined. You ever see one of these bad boys? Not many people get the chance to see the moon while moving. It's... <laughs> you know, I have over four swords. Hiya! Oops. I run this group. I've had my own issues with substance abuse, and the cash I make from this gig helps me to continue to have them. I'm sorry. It's over. But it's not you. You know that, right? It's not you. It's your body. <clears throat> Wait, if you don't play, why are you wearing a Martin guitar t-shirt? That's because I'm a hipster, dumbass. We pretend to be stuff. Your name's Jamal? But you're white. So? Is this really the first time you've had this conversation? Come on, Jamal. Steve, look, about yesterday. No, you did the right thing. Just be careful doing the announcements, okay? What happens to the quality? The microphone it is, it changes you. Don't worry, buddy. No stupid announcements are gonna change me. I do the announcements! I am the second coming! I speak for God now! Shmooly! <sighs> Barry, you're doing the announcements now. You fucking fuckers are gonna do what I say, or I will put my goddamn foot so far up your assholes you will ruin the day you crawled out of your mother's twat. Barry! <laughs> I made a swear. All right, that's it. We're not doing daily announcements anymore. All of you just get out of here. Uh, damn kids. I've seen this one. Sometimes I think I should have just stayed in Peru moving coke. Machado was a cold bastard, but he was good to his men. Once you drew blood for him, you were set. Hooch. Blow. Girls. <laughs> Not women. Girls. Little bitty things. Ryan! Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Get a hold of yourself! Huh. Huh. Our victory was hard fought and well deserved. <sighs> Take me away. I am thinking that's like an answer. Coming this way, act casual. Never wants to talk. <sighs> Having a cigarette. I don't care what the pack says. It's at the bottom of your mattress, Steve. So many of the girls are Asian and pregnant. She's not in here. We should keep moving. I'll never forget you, Roger. Just ignore her. Ah! No! My sweatshirt! State. Cut! Lightning in a bottle! Yes! Oh, there is no downside to this drug. 
So you guys want to go get some steaks at the Brown Derby? He has no nose. Hey, thief, out! Oh, damn it! Asian! Well, I guess it's up to me to get to soccer practice. Gee, Dad, I'd love to get in the hot tub, too. But I can't because I'm pretty sure my parents <laughs> it last night. Hell! Get out! All of you! Who were those women, Papa? Steve? You know what they're doing at my two dads' house? Eating cheeses! From Europe! Sans crackers! That's right, I said a French word! I learned it over there! Au revoir, les enfants! That means fuck you! Well, this feels like a natural stopping point. Why didn't people come? I mean, we had 45 maybes on our evite. Haley, maybe means no. The only place that maybe means maybe is sex. Maybe. What did they say? It's no use. There's no talking sense into them. Cause they're nuts! Roger? The name is Kevin Ramage. Roger? I'm only doing this one more time. The name is Kevin Ramage. If you two don't back off my territory, then this is what's waiting for you. That's right. So you better think long and hard. Okay, we'll switch faces just as soon as I fix this lamp. What's wrong with it? It's broken. <coughs> ah, I shouldn't have hit him in the face. That's my face. Now there's just the issue of your payment. I'm sorry, I'm tapped out. I keep giving away money. Well, I accept several forms of payment. So, just like that? Mm, higher. You turn the camera off, right? Don't talk, don't talk. Hey, I remember you. You're that guy who freaked out when I got the last pretzel at Wetzel's like two weeks ago. What are you waiting for? Kill him! I even offered you the pretzel. Yeah, after you drowned it in mustard. This isn't over, Watley. I'm gonna get my job back as principal. And this time, I'm gonna do everything right. Yo, what is going on? So, I have another reaction request. And this one comes from Muhammad. And I am not gonna even begin to pronounce your last name, bro. But he says... Uh, go ahead and react to uh, dick jokes. Please do try not to laugh. You won't win uh, For family guy. So Challenge accepted of course. I will see if I will be able to make this compilation Um, actually I see two different videos here. So one is funny family guy funny dick jokes and there's a part one and a part two so I'm just gonna go ahead and combine them, you know, just to save some time. I had them do that two wiener operation on me. You what? Double trouble! Uh oh. That was the original. What about Viagra or Cialis? What about them? Well, if Peter could try them, they might help with his problem. What, what is he wearing under there? Troubles? I've been prescribing them as antidepressants. Everything's just getting harder and harder. All right, stand back, Lois. Oh, my. Well, no wonder he's always slouching. How the hell did this happen? I'm supposed to be the man of the house. You must be so ashamed of me. Oh, Peter, I care as much about the size of your penis as you care about the size of my breasts. Oh, my God! You guys ready? Because <sighs> I am. Ah! What's happening? <gasps> Is, is this, is this foreplay? I like this party. Pussies. Cock. Cock. Brian, what did they do to you with that school? You, you're so submissive. Yes, looks like someone's gone at him with a whip. That, that is that is a perfectly valid way of saying that. Bravo, Master. Master? And a surprisingly quick erection for Stewie. This seems like a weird place to even use a condom. Just shut up, Peter. I'm done with you. All right, you completely lied about why you were hanging out with me. What? I never lie. Well, except for that one time. Oh, my God! My husband's having a heart attack! Is anyone here a doctor? 
I have a 13-inch penis? Peter? Who was King Louis the 12th? Oh, I'm sorry, Peter. We were looking for King Louis the 11th. Ah, damn it, I knew that. Ah, well, me and the with a big black King Louis the 11th. Tim, select. Tried finding my creativity, like you said. First, I took an art class. Am I... Am I supposed to draw the penis? And I tried sculpting. Am I... Am I supposed to sculpt the penis? Then I tried music. Am I... Am I supposed to conduct with my penis? All right, Rupert. Here we go. <laughs> Well, I'm not dead, but I do have a boner. So that is something new about Stewie. Not gonna let this go, are you? You're as stubborn as a four-hour erection. Well, she's long gone, so, uh, you can go too. Oh, no. You got me for another three and a half hours, pal. Go ahead, seek medical attention. I'm not going anywhere. You can't stay. I'm chaperoning my daughter's Girl Scout dinner in 45 minutes. Well, tuck me into your waistband and try not to pee up your shirt. I think I might hang out in the town square. I hear an oracle from Greece is sending a funny message, and I want to be there when it arrives. Penis. Ha. <laughs> He's like, am I, am I supposed to draw his penis? <laughs> then, the, then the one where he was like, am I supposed to conduct with my penis? <laughs> Dude, this compilation was so good. Yo, there's so many. I can't believe there's so many dick jokes in Family Guy. I know there were some, but like those are those are so funny. Oh my goodness. Um, uh, there's another one in here, but let's just go ahead and jump to the last, the second one. Whew, this is actually pretty hard. <sighs> I gotta scratch my joint. I say, Chris, there may be something to this pastime of manual self-stimulus. They all laughed at me. Huh, let's see where this goes. Wow, it went right there. Yes, we won the lottery! I'm getting a penis, butler. Sir? All right, bottle my penis. Bottle it! <sighs> ah! No. Oh God, did you take care of that thing? That thing? Oh, oh, you mean that growth? Yeah, yeah, I, I had the doctor look at that. Mr. Griffin, that isn't a growth. That's your penis. Oh. Well, what about the, uh... Testicles. Huh. Friends, they're all I got! And you know how hard it is for me to make new friends! Is this friends? <gasps> Be careful, this isn't my box! Oh yeah, sure, then whose is it? It's mine. I'm Dick Pump, and I'd appreciate it if you hooligans didn't get your eggs all over my parcel. Sorry, I keep getting your mail, Dick. Hey, what's in there, anyway? Embarrassing stuff. <laughs> well, there goes my music career. Wonder if I can get my old job back, painting kids' faces at birthday parties. There you go, Timmy. Sir, you're gonna have to leave. You're just drawing penises with a sharpie on children's faces. I don't know how to draw a cat. All right, everybody, just make yourselves at home. Lois, these are the fat guys. Fat guys, Lois. My God, look at you fat bastards. I bet none of you can even find your own penis. Find your penis for a dollar. Find your penis, one dollar, one dollar. Find your penis, find your penis here. All right, Stewie, since Lois says I gotta keep an eye on you, we might as well have some father-son time. So I'm gonna measure your penis, and then I'm gonna measure my penis, oh, yeah, and I saw we're gonna this see one. who's is bigger. Doesn't really seem fair. All right, let's see what you get. Stupid game, anyway. He can't have a bat flying around the house. We gotta do something. Don't worry, Lois. I'll get rid of it. It'll be a piece of cake, just like my penis enhancement. 
I want it to hang down to my knees. They moved up my knees. Brian Griffin? Uh, yeah, that's me. Here you go. Oh, oh, God! <laughs> What's in the box, Brian? <laughs> I got you good. Uh, I don't feel right. I want it back. Oh. Uh, what's the name of this place? Dicks. And, and what's that say on your shirt? Dicks. Can I have two balls and a helmet? Hey, you're the guy from the phone. <laughs> Start the car, Chris. Did you get him yet? We got him. <laughs> Morbidly a lot. This is not fair. OK, okay and again, I'm going to ask one more question. And don't take this the wrong way, but... Have you actually got a penis? Yes. Where? Where is it? Where is it? It's in there. Are you sure? So it's like Mr. Snuffleupagus, is it? Oh, the hell with this. Lois, get the ruler. We're measuring again. And this time, I decide where the base is. Woo! <sighs> champion. The champion right here, man. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. <laughs> Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Peace!